Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This time around, the question comes from Paul Hampton, who asks about smart filters, saying, I thought I saw someone use something else besides a filter as a smart filter. What would that be? Well, there's actually a couple of possibilities. The first one is this command called Shadows Highlights. This has been around for a while, and the one complaint people had about it is one of the very few of things under this list that you cannot use as an adjustment layer. Well, the solution is convert it to a smart object so that now we would be able to use, of course, all of our smart filters. But if we look under Adjustments, we can see we do have Shadow Highlights. So now I could do something, and I'm going to do something which is bad and something I would normally not do just to kind of show the fact that when I click OK, the shadow highlights appears here, which means I could use it like a regular smart filter. Fade it out, change the blend mode, mask it, or even double click to say, OK, maybe that was a little much. Let's go with something more like that. Now, it is important to note, you may have noticed when I went under adjustments that HDR toning is there. Well. That's a little misleading because it actually doesn't work. I'm not sure why it's not grayed out because it's not a smart filter. So don't let that one fool you. However, the other new thing in CS5, which is kind of interesting to do as a smart filter, is Puppet Warp. So we look under the Edit menu. Of course, this is CS5 only, Puppet Warp. It's going to go into this new way of distorting. And you can see if I want to, I could show the mesh and stick pins on it. I don't really have a specific plan in mind here, so let me do something really quickly just to show you that if I chose to, I could distort around the image in weird ways. This is a very weird way to do it because you definitely would want to do it like this. But just to show you that something is happening here, let's do something crazy. When I hit Enter, now I have two smart filters, Puppet Warp and Shadow Highlight. So if I decide later on, perhaps I don't want this quite so odd, I could double click on it. It brings me right back where I was. So now I could add one more pin and go there. That's much better. Hit Enter and then we're done. So those are two of the more interesting additional things on top of smart filters. We can do Shadows, Highlights and Puppet Warp as in effect a smart filter. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.